on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's get straight into this video. This is called You Got the Heart of a Lion. So it's kind of funny how this came up. So there's a rapper uh, called Montana 300. There's a song called Planet of the Apes. And he says something like, I got the heart of a lion, put my ish colder than cobras. And other than the colder than cobras, or I mean, your heart could be cold too. A lot of you that are watching this video, you could have been through a lot of stuff, but Jesus could always soften your heart, but there's nothing wrong with it. But uh, the heart of a lion though, that felt like, it felt prophetic. So I don't know, whoever's watching this video, you're, you're someone who's just brave. You you have literally the heart of a lion. Like a lion is just brave, courageous, right? You're like, you've likely been through a thing or two or five or 10 or 20. Like a lot of you could have been through, only God knows, right? Only, only God knows how much you've been through or whatever you've been through. But, and something in the song said, I got the power to slay the giant like David and Goliath or something. And I was like, that felt prophetic too, because it's, it's funny how God could speak through anything. Like secular music, it doesn't matter. You can speak through anything. But I decided to make this video because it's really like, it just got me excited for some reason. But I don't know who's watching this video, but you're that type of person, whether you're a man or a woman, but you have, you're, you're just courageous, right? You have the heart of a lion. Like you're extremely courageous. Like the things you've been through are, aren't like, they're not for the faint of heart, right? And you could have never really been like a, uh, seen about it right like no one was able to see it like people could have been like oh you haven't been through nothing or no that that wasn't hard or whatever <clears throat> but they all know like even like one percent of the story right <clears throat> dang i can't talk but uh and got the power to slay the giant like david and goliath so <clears throat> maybe some of you could have like a david type of anointing right when you have like a goliath in your life whatever this goliath is like only you know but the thing is you've been through like a lot of struggles in your life like a like a like a heavy amount right like a lot of you are straight up anointed so whenever you're anointed you're gonna have a, a life of struggle and if you have like a david anointing which is like a kingly anointing meaning you're gonna have a goliath that you're gonna slay right and david had a heart of a lion he he was uh he was a king but he had the heart right and his heart came from his faith in God. I think it says somewhere like he had, he had so much faith in God. It was it was borderline arrogant, right? But it, it was like, what I mean by arrogant was like, David was like, I could do anything like God's going to have my back. I, I could just jump into the slaughterhouse and survive, right? He had this type of like confidence. So maybe some of you could have that, like this like boldness about you. And there's a scripture that comes to mind too. I think Paul said it, where he said like, we are broken. No, we are... Uh, Pressed on all sides, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, right? So in your life, like, uh, Christ has kept you, uh, preserved pretty much. This is why you haven't broken. This is why you've still been, uh, healthy and everything. This is why your face may not even look like you've been through anything. This is why you could have like a youthful side to you. This is why you could still like, uh, shine brightly. Like it hasn't, uh, crushed you meaning like it really hasn't like dark darkened your life right because christ has kept you up and that's what's got you through all these things whatever these things are this is why you keep moving this is why you have the heart of a lion right because you keep going like lions like especially like male lions or something like in the wild like they're raised like as soon as they get like to old enough age like they're on their own and they're fighting all other male lions like fighting each other getting like one's dying one's surviving and everything and they're just brave, right? So this is this is what I mean by the heart of a lion. Like you face like a lot of challenges. Some even like life or death. Like life or death, like Goliath challenges to where it's like impossible, right? It's like something that's like no human could bear it, whatever it is. It's like no human could actually bear it. And maybe some of you this is this could be the season to where that that Goliath, whatever it is, is gonna be slayed, right? Maybe God's been showing you this already, saying a heart of a lion or heart of a champion or like hero or something like that maybe maybe god has been uh showing you these signs right to where he's been like uh not letting your head go down pretty much like lifting your head up right because he knows that you've been through a lot of challenges like heavy 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 spiritual warfare and everything like things trying to uh kill you things trying to just attack you things going wrong whatever it is actual spiritual warfare right so uh just like David, though, you're going to slay that Goliath, the heart of a lion. And it's funny, in, in the lyrics of that video, it's, uh, my uh, my heart's colder than Cobra's, right? So, uh, speaking of the heart, the heart being cold thing. So, like I said, it's normal. Like, it's nothing to, like, if your heart's cold, 
like it makes sense if you've been through like a lot of things it makes sense for your heart to get cold because this is what the world does to you right it, it robs you of your innocence there's a lot of things that go wrong innocent blood being shed right things that happen to you that you, you did not deserve at all so you could be in that position but don't worry because god sees you also and god softens your heart if he doesn't already you may be the type of person that no matter how uh distressing your life could get it's like somehow you never like get bitter it's like you could be bitter for a little bit but you never like stay that way and just know that's christ keeping you that way because uh he knows like if you end up staying bitter and being bitter and everything this is where you lead yourself to complete darkness right so he he basically holds you up he like holds your hand and everything glory be to god but like we're we're oppressed on all sides just like paul said but you're not crushed so this could have been your life like you've been pressed on all sides but you, but you weren't crushed right you were uh you were uh what's that called bent like bent hard hard but you didn't you didn't crack right let's say your life has been you've been you've been pressed super hard super hard super hard but you didn't you didn't crack the whole time because god does not let you do it because there's a purpose to the suffering and the struggling whether you believe it or not i know sometimes things seem like false hope right like like what's this dude saying like this is this never gonna happen like i've even thought that too but it's like clear as day to me the just the way like christ helps you to where it's like i, I know this isn't for no reason because it's like look how much has happened and like i'm i'm still standing right i'm still healthy i'm still uh strong i'm still i still have strength i still have weird amounts of optimism i still somehow get up right and i'm telling you whatever only you know but whatever battle you're facing if you're watching this video could have been just like heavy 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 like very heavy i'm talking like literally goliath right so goliath is known to be a giant like a giant something like way bigger than you and uh like i said like david was a king so a lot of you could have this kingly type of anointing to where you're gonna slay uh you're gonna be like a pretty much a demon slayer right this is what uh david was like a demon slayer spiritual warfare slayer right so regarding spiritual warfare too a lot of times if you're if you have like this type of anointing or just spiritual warfare in general god places it on you because it gives you firepower against the enemy right so it's like it's like you're in the it's like you're in the battlefield you see all the plots and schemes and everything you're able to see him so he like lets the weapon form but it doesn't prosper then you know it then you got power against the enemy right then you see the scheme then you, then you see the way to get out of it then you see the way to break it right you see the way to crush the head of the snake so that's like the purpose of spiritual warfare so god lets it happen and also when you have spiritual warfare he kind of perfects you using it he like delivers you from whatever he needs to deliver you from so for example like if you had like a issue with like heavy fear or something right god will actually use spiritual warfare to like provoke you to fear and like keep provoking you to fear until that fear just ends up leaving right because you, because you're facing so much fear to where you just start facing it head on and it disappears so he let he lets these like spiritual weapons form and then all of a sudden like you're delivered you, you don't have any more uh fear or whatever it is it's just an example whatever weapons trying to form against you because a lot of people think spiritual warfare is like oh i gotta make sure to uh to pray against the enemy or whatever but a lot of times you endure it right because it gives you firepower because it says our war isn't against flesh and blood but principality so when it's a war you're fighting it right but the way god does it is uh you know how he says he uses your he's gonna turn your enemies into uh your footstool this is what he does with spiritual warfare he like flips it on his head whatever 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 weapon it is that's uh against you right he flips it on its head like you think it's gonna like the enemy will be boasting and stuff thinking he's gonna like destroy you or something like god flips it on the head to where you conquer it pretty much like you completely conquer it you overcome it and everything just like the scripture says we're more than conquerors in christ right he was in you stronger than he was in the world so we know everyone in uh everyone in christ is gonna be in uh spiritual warfare right now a lot of you who are watching this video you could have heavy anointing so spiritual warfare was like since you were born pretty much right weapons formed against you weapons formed against you but nothing crushed you nothing broke you right it, it got close but nothing so he's like used it to like mold you or something or like form you and when i talk about spiritual warfare too like i just hate because i hate suffering in general i don't like it but god sees it differently as well he doesn't see it the same i believe that he sees suffering isn't like something that really like generally molds you because he makes warriors literally kings and queens so a king kings and queens literally go through battles and battles and battles they overcome right 
So this is where like their confidence comes from. This is where their uh, personality comes from and experience. So he, he, he puts you in the battlefield, like you go into it, right? So you're somebody that, uh, you're somebody that's probably learned by experience. You're not somebody that you just learn things and like you, you know them or whatever. No, it's like you learn, uh, by experience, meaning like you get, you actually know something because you've experienced it. So that's probably what your life has been. It's been like raw and like authentic to where like, if you wrote a, if you wrote a book about it, it'd be thousands of pages, right? The things that's uh, happened in your life. So whatever it is, I don't know who I'm speaking to, but a lot of you have had lives that are not like, they aren't flesh and blood. They aren't like they're, it's unexplainable, but you know, it's, uh, it's spiritual warfare because it's not something, it's not something that's like someone could say, oh, it's just, it's just a part of life. It's like, no, 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 this is different. This, this is way different, right? But this is, this is what's made you have the heart of a lion because he, he made you this way to be brave. So when God creates like a king or a queen with the heart of a lion, right? You're going to be put in battles like a lion, legit spiritual battles, right? Legit, like actual heavy battles, like a heavy, heavy, uh, a heavy burden on you, right? So, you know, the saying when they say heavy is a crown, and I don't know who's watching this video, but like, this could be for you, but heavy is a crown. So a lot, a lot of you are anointed like this to be kings or queens. So the crown of a king or a queen is going to be heavy. And this is song by Metallica that came up and it's called Crown of Barbed Wire. And just as when Jesus was crucified, I think he, he had like barbed wire on his head as well. And the so crown of barbed wire, meaning you got the crown, like the heavy is the crown, right? But the crown came through like blood pretty much. It came through like pain and like suffering or whatever. So heavy is the crown, whatever it is, whatever uh, your story is, right? But heavy is the crown for you in Jesus name. So if this is for you, let it be for you. But you'll know you'll know if like god has anointed you as well because he'll send you signs as well some of you could have known through this channel some of you could have known a long time ago some of you god could have just straight up told you shown you signs but you know that you're anointed because whenever you're anointed by god like you you have that light inside of you you've had christ inside of you right so you've You've seen you've seen you've seen this world differently because of the anointing, right? Because you've had things happen to you that are not normal. They're clearly spiritual. Back then, you might have not known it. You might have not known it, right? Because of innocence. Then you got. Then you're like, oh, okay, this is what happens. Because you know, it's it's a it's not a war against flesh and blood, right? It's principalities. So when you're when you're of God of Christ, you you're gonna be you're gonna be attacked, right? But these attacks are happen to you like god allows these attacks to happen to you it's not something that you have to like like uh pray against like you could pray against it but i believe he lets these happen to you because these form you right this, these turn you into like a king these turn you into a queen because you slay these goliaths goliaths or uh demons you slay them all right in jesus name so he made you to be like uh like he crushed the snakes right i don't know who this is for but you literally crush the snakes so in your case like the spiritual warfare is like heavy it's like by by all sides whatever it is because it's like it's like you're uh you're just like paul said you're hard pressed on every side everywhere everywhere you look you're pressed but you're not crushed right it's like a lot of pressure and this goes back to the saying how pressure makes diamonds right so this is this is what god does he uses the spiritual war for pressure like a fire pretty much to to make you a diamond right like you you're able to withstand and endure whatever it is if it's like trauma or whatever it is some type of spiritual warfare mental warfare whatever type of pain it's like you endure it endure it endure it then you you realize that you're not getting crushed so then you end up getting like a ton of a ton of strength and everything you become a, a diamond because you overcome it so it's also another song that came to mind it's called indestructible by a uh, disturbed like literally like i'll listen to so much music i swear god shows me signs and like so many of them but even though disturbed has like a weird like uh i want to say demonic but yeah it's like a darker type of like music or whatever but i don't know their their music's hard but in the song indestructible where, where he says i'm uh i'm an indestructible master of war or something like that so that could be you like god has made you indestructible like master of war this is why like you uh yeah god has made you indestructible that's what it is in jesus name to where no weapon formed against you prospers at all you're indestructible right nothing will overcome you so if, if you need encouragement in this video nothing's overcoming you You've probably seen this in your life already. Nothing has overcame you, no matter how much you've been pressed, no matter what it is, right? He's made you indestructible. He's made you literally indestructible. So, and in the in the disturbed uh, 
like album cover or whatever the guy's coming out of the fire right the guy although he looks like weird kind of like evil or something but he's coming out of the fire and it reminds me of like the refiner's fire and like how uh like as a king or something you slay goliath or something you come out of the fire victorious right so it that's this could be your life it's like you've probably like been under the fire right you've been under this type of fire but you're gonna come out because god's made you indestructible he, he's made you indestructible right he's gave you a heart of a lion he's gave you a different type of strength an uncanny amount of strength to where it's not it's not a strength that like you uh like say for example you're a man to where you know you look super serious or stoic or whatever like that. no it's like the, it's an inner strength it's a spiritual strength that you have this is what keeps you going right this is what makes you this indestructible master of war it's like he, he's made he's made you victorious pretty much like he's already like uh like you're you're under his hand pretty much and like he's he's made you victorious like you're victorious already and this is for past present and future you're, you're gonna be victorious overall in jesus name so he's made you indestructible hallelujah so uh speaking of like the songs and everything yeah like i know a lot of you guys said like how god speaks through like anything and like secular music so we know like music uh could go both ways and everything like music because we know the enemy uses music as well but god could literally use anything to get a message right it doesn't even matter what it is it goes back to like when uh Balaam was speaking to a donkey so that was that was symbolic as well meaning he speaks to a donkey meaning he could speak through anything it doesn't matter whether it's good bad evil whatever it is he could literally speak through it because he has power over all right christ is the name above all names so but uh just know that uh, whoever's watching this video just let it resonate if it's for you but you got the heart of a lion you know a lioness right brave a brave heart the heart of a king the heart of a queen right you know a king they uh the king has a lot of knives in his back right but he's victorious right a queen's been through a lot whatever it is a lot of backstabbings uh trials traumas whatever it is right any t anyone who's going to be made like royalty by god is gonna it's gonna go through these types of struggles right this is why your life has been like heavy heavier for like your age or whatever and through a young age it's been like it's it's been heavy right but the moral of the story is heavy as the crown right in jesus name heavy as the crown so yeah that's all for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it don't forget to uh thumbs up if you want a thumbs up comment anything below and subscribe if you want to subscribe god bless you guys in the name of jesus christ and i'll see you in the next video